We're in DaVinci Resolve today, and I'm going to show you very quickly how to generate a vignette in Resolve. It's really quite straightforward to do. If you go to the color section here, you grade your clip accordingly, and you might want to put a vignette on this clip, maybe not, but uh, it doesn't have to go on everything, but it does usually look quite nice, and it obviously does the job of focusing attention to the center of the frame. We've got our, some fairly bright bits, bright bits around the side here and bright bits here, so a vignette might help just reduce that down and focus attention to the center. You do a vignette in Resolve using a power window, and power windows are, you can have a rectangular power window, a circular power window, etc., which allow you to do different color correction across different points of the frame. It sort of gives you a very powerful way of just set, selecting out one section of the frame and doing an adjustment with color within that section. But of course, all we're doing here is we're reducing the gain down. We're making one section darker gradually. So how we do that is we generate a circular power window by clicking on here and this will appear in your frame, your window will appear in your frame. Uh, all we usually need to do is reduce our gain down. Oh, actually, sorry, I've done that wrong. I've made a mistake. So I'm gonna just undo that because this should always be done on a separate node to your main grade. Always put uh, an additional node in afterwards. Totally forgot about that, but a good mistake to have done because it's really important. Don't, of course, apply it on your main grade because then, of course, the adjustments you make will mess up your primary grade because you'll be putting a power window on that grade. So you need to do you need to do your grade your first grade here in your first node and then add a second one afterwards with just the vignette on. Have one just for the vignette. In fact, you can even rename it and call it vignette if you want. So let's add our power window on here and all our controls here are at their default positions. So we just reduce reduce it down in here, maybe to about 70, 87, I usually do about 75 maybe. It doesn't have to be quite that dark. You can adjust that afterwards. And you'll notice that the section within the power window has now nicely reduced, uh, the highlights have reduced down. So we've got the look, we've got that sort of reduced exposure level look that we will have in the vignette but of course we want to reverse it so we click on here to sort of invert that and now we can expand this out and this is the feather control so the main window is controlled by these four points here so if we just zoom out a little bit i'm just going to scroll to zoom out and i'm going to expand this out and it's up to you whether you make your vignette circular or whether you make it the sort of uh, an kind of anamorphic sort of frame size but I'm going to make mine fairly circular and, and then we can as I say reduce the feather here and the feather being the amount of distance this is the sort of distance it takes for the effect to be fully on if you know what I mean so um so if you have a feather of zero your effect goes from not on to on immediately but as you f but instead you want to feather it out so that it's a more of a gradual look which i now can't adjust so a vignette will never be an immediately sort of light to dark in one point so let's feather it and make sure it's, we've got it off the frame here and a good way of uh getting rid of just double click on your other grade there and you can now turn that on and off and you can see you can see clearly on your waveform as well that it drops off towards the edges which is what you'd expect with a vignette it drops off on the edges there and that's that's not bad if you want to increase it or you want to change the look of it you can if you want to make it a little bit of a stronger vignette then we can reduce this gain down a little bit further and let's have a look at that yeah i mean that's probably a little bit too much but you get the point and if we just go back to our original so there's no grade no vignette and there's our grade with our vignette so pretty straightforward uh there you go Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, and also consider subscribing if you would like to be notified of future tutorials and reviews and unboxings and overviews and the various bits and pieces we do on this channel. Thanks again. Catch you soon. Bye.